Hey guys, today I'm planting a few things and seed starting some stuff. This is my Ruelia purple showers. You can see why they call it purple showers. Um, first up is my Turk's cap. I've got several of these planted in my garden already, but I found these at a really, really great price. So I'm planting two more, one in peach and then one in the red color. It was supposed to be peach, but oh well. It's a, a nice little surprise, I guess. Now, I love Turk's Cap. If you guys haven't grown this, you should because it's a perennial, but it also gives you fruit. So it gets these little tiny, about one inch in diameter, sort of apple looking berries, I guess you can call them. Um, they taste like an apple. They've got quite, quite big seeds in them, um, so you don't get a whole lot of flesh, but they taste a little bit like an apple without the tartness. Now I'm planting some violas and these are purple and white, but you can't tell because I left them on the ground overnight one night and my bunnies that free range ate the tops off and the flowers off completely. So um, they don't look like much right now, but they will be very pretty soon. And here's the Turk's cap that I just planted. My bed is really messy right now, lots of grass in there. I've been weeding it a little bit, but I'm kind of just waiting for all the grass to die off this fall or this winter, and then I'll really go through and weed it all. But here's a close-up of the peach Turk's cap. It's really pretty. I just love the flowers. They're so unique looking. And here's just another reason to plant zinnias in your garden. Look at all of these butterflies. It's so awesome. I love butterflies. I think I'm definitely going to do a huge zinnia patch next year. And here's just a little update on the loofah that's growing along the fence. There's tons of them now and I hope that they're all pollinated. And here's Charlie fitting in nicely, playing with Jack on the doormat. She loves chewing on his tail and he has been so sweet with her. Harley, on the other hand, is being an old grumpy cat. I've been getting my rose bushes in, but storm's coming through right now. Let's get this beautiful peach rose in the ground. So I gotta get shots of it before it gets ruined from this rain. I've got this one here. It looks awful right now, but it's a white rose. All right, now I'm gonna seed start some stuff, and this is just kind of an experiment to see what I can grow and uh, produce late in the season for fall. This first one is pink squash. I've never had success with this plant because every time I've started it, it dies as soon as it gets the slightest bit hot. So I'm trying it out for a somewhat early winter crop. The seeds are huge and bulky, so I'm thinking that this is a pretty good size squash. I've never had it, but I was so intrigued by the fact that it was pink that I wanted to try it. Now I'm starting some Texas lilac. This is seed that I just saved from my uh, Vitex tree. It's also known as Vitex or Chase tree. And this is just an experiment to see if the seeds are viable. So I'm putting a whole bunch in this one cell because I just want to see if they sprout. Now these might need to be stratified. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. Next up is red Russian kale. I've never grown this variety. I've grown other red kale before, but usually just like an ornamental kale. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it does. It might be too late for this, but it might not if our winter is mild. I'm really just surface sowing these. I'm not trying to bury them in the dirt. I'm just leaving them on the top of the surface. This next one is a Royal Empress 
tree seeds. Um, there's a botanical name for it. I'll put it down at the bottom because I'm not sure how to say it. Um, these I'm also going to surface sew because they're really, really tiny and really lightweight. Um, this is supposed to be one of the fastest growing trees in the world and we do have a tree here in town that is this specific variety and it's gorgeous you guys. The leaves are massive, like 12 inches wide. Um, but the tree itself is just beautiful. Now I'm just tapping down the seeds so it has good contact with the soil. Now for one of my favorite lettuces. This does really well in colder climates. It's bib lettuce. And I'm probably gonna sow a few trays of this, also just surface sowing. Endive, it does great in salads, and this particular variety I have grown before, and it survives the hot summer heat without bolting. I love endive, I've grown several varieties, and they all do really well in heat. Now I'm going to sow some purple broccoli. Um, it might be too late for this too, but we'll see. Again, this is just an experiment. Um, and then this is just mescaline, which I'm also going to surface sow, and I grow this variety every year. It's one of my favorite things to add into a salad. Right now I'm going to grow some purple whole peas. Last spring was my first year growing this variety and I fell in love with them. They were so prolific. The plants were super hardy and super big and I just loved the purple pods of these peas. So these are peas that I saved from this last spring. In fact, I sacrificed most of my crop just so I could seed save. Normally I would just put these right into the ground. I wouldn't even seed start them in a tray, but because I don't have the area that I wanna plant these in ready yet, I'm starting them out in a tray. Now I'm gonna try five color Chinese peppers. These are seeds that I saved from some peppers that I bought at the farmer's market from uh, Highway 19 Farms. And I wanna see if these seeds are viable because I think the peppers were quite young. Um, so this is just an experiment as well. Are candlestick plant seeds. These are so cool. I saw this gorgeous tree at the garden center that they had planted in the ground and it was massive, huge. It looked like it was 10 years old. Come to find out it was less than a year old. That's how quickly it grew. Oddly enough, they're annuals, so they die off in the winter completely, but I'm going to keep this one or these inside if they come up um, for next spring. Just trying to get an early start. Now I'm going to experiment with these uh, brown crowder peas. I've never grown this plant before, um, but I just kind of want to see what they look like when they come up. Um, I don't know if these will survive the winter, but we'll find out, so another experiment. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications if you want to see more videos. We try to post every single day.